this video, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, control rig that's included in Unreal Engine. So you don't have to make your own so much quicker and faster uh, than making your own since we've already retargeted uh, the skeleton with the actor core. So all these steps allow us to do this as well. So um, here's how we're going to do it. So I'm going to open up under I'm in third person character uh, when I set up this project under mannequin. This is the level uh, UE5 mannequin under rigs. You're going to see that there's already a mannequin in here. And since we've already in our previous video set up uh, a retarget to work with the skeleton, we can do our animations in this. So this is a much better way than the previous way I just showed you. So what we do is we drag this in and this creates a sequencer, but this is not a video. This is just to record your animations. And really you can do what you want. You can turn on the auto key which might be the way to go. Um, um, I find that I prefer it without it, but uh, you know it depends on whatever you want. So I'm going to set up the key where maybe this is the initial pose. Maybe he's sitting down. I can set him up in a sitting down pose. But I'm going to just keep it simple here. And what's the difference between this and what we had previously done? Well, this has all the IK rigs. And one of the keys that I want to remind you of that I often talk about is using the WER keys. So uh, let's pretend I want to move this hand. I'm going to move this up and I'm going to change this to uh, show times a second just because that might make it a little more, uh, make more sense for me. And I'm going to press the W key. I'm going to move this up and I am going to also click the E key. I'm going to rotate the hand up as well. So, uh, and then I'm going to just click keyframe at the top here. Now, there's, you could do it with auto keyframe too, like I mentioned. And let's check if this works. So the hand goes up. Uh, let's just, um, now I'm going to show you some of the other IK uh, rigs. And the difference in IK is it moves the whole body. So you don't have to menu, you know, do every single little uh, uh, keyframe. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to use the uh, rotate. I'm going to make it look like he's, uh, looking this way because you see somebody coming or or something i don't know what you're doing in your animation i'll leave that up to you i guess um, and again i'm going to now use auto keyframe from now on just because i find it uh, just to show you what it is you make sure you enable this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this and i'm going to turn this and when i turn this over to this side so let's say he's looking on this side it's only going to keyframe the things that i moved and maybe over here, I want him to go back to the middle. And you can. So there you go. And maybe uh, you want to do something else like he looks forward. It doesn't matter. Like you can do all kinds of stuff. Wherever, whenever you let go of the mouse, that's when it creates the keyframe, by the way. So, and I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to put him back to normal like that okay so i just created an animation so what i want to do now is i'm going to click the top here where it says mannequin body i'm going to show you a way that you can continue to tweak this animation in the previous video i told you to bake the animation sequence what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a linked animation sequence so that if you when you get to your uh, sequencer if you still need to tweak this uh, this is the way to go. So go create animation sequence. Now this is an animation that is an Unreal Engine 5 animation. So I'm not putting it. I'm going to put it in the animation folder with mannequin. And I'm going to call this, um, you know, wave hand or something. Doesn't matter. Something that I'll be able to remember. And I'm going to export it. And now what I'm going to do is go and see under mannequin under animation. So I'm going to click on this and you're going to see my animation. Now it's not a great animation, but it's more to understand the process. So this could be really handy to create some quick custom animations that you need. Uh, and the next step is what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to do just like we did. We were going to retarget and we're going to use our UE5 because this guy is done in UE5 to UE4. Here's our character and I'm going to put EXO because I'm doing an animation for EXO, I'm going to put it, I, I didn't create an animation folder for it, I'm going to just put it in the root, so click OK, click retarget, and 
Here's Exo's animation. So right now, basically, I just did that. Now, I'll just show you one little thing that, to save you some time on your animation. Uh, just like a video sequence, if I needed to finish here, whenever I'm done uh, with that, click Save. And what I'll see now is uh, I go over here. See, it's much shorter. And since I didn't bake it and I had, I selected that uh, different link, this one here, create linked animation sequence, it automatically fixes this. And let's go see if it did that for EXO as well. Definitely did, but let's go see. Um, so here's EXO with the tweaked. Okay, well, I probably have to retarget him, so that's fine. Uh, so I would just re-delete him. Uh, and let's say I wanted to I will just go to my character and under mannequin under animations and again just click here oops i want to just retarget and resend this out use this again so i guess it doesn't uh, follow all the way through to exo and this will cover record over the other one and there you go let's see yeah it's much shorter so that's a much quicker way to do some quick custom animations. If you have any questions, please let me know.